What's going on people? Ogano here. And as promised in my last video, I said I was going to do a tutorial on screen toning and there'll be a, a tutorial or a, a tips video on like you know, manga paneling tips, etc. Anyway, uh, what you, what you want to do for these screen tones is you, you want to open up this arrow key here and then on the materials you on the materials you get like all these sets of menus if you don't see this you could just you know drag and drop it and then they'll they'll appear and then you'll see uh, monochromatic uh, now the primary uh, things the primary uh, tones that are mostly used would be three but I you I usually use four but so for how for this example there's just gonna be three screen tones the first one is just going to be plain white. The uh, the second one is will be this. So what you want to do is just use your magic wand tool to select the area where you want to place your screen tone at. And I'm going to do that right here. And then I'm going to click and drag this over here. And then we have a screen tone there. And that that's one type of screen tone. There's another type of screen tone right here. Which is like a much more darker color, I believe. Yeah, much more darker color. And then there's going to be another one here. Which isn't really provided on, on these options. I don't think so. But uh, this is, this will basically just be black. So we're just going to drag and drop here. And then we're going to increase the density to black. So, regarding the, we're going to come back to the density very soon. And then I'm just going to finish off talking about these uh, different, uh, um, these different uh, screen tones. So right here, you, we have a, like a selection of like circle, circle screen tones, and like line screen tones, and etc. The list goes on and on. You may want to use like line screen tones if like to have that visual effect if, if a character is falling or to do like building the buildings in the background to have that you know tall tall uh that tall effect that it shows length you know so you, you may want to like use these types of screen tones i mean they're they're pretty much the same thing they're all pretty much the same thing um at, at first glance you may not like see the uh see like how they are but if you like continue to zoom in you'll see like them you know get all um you know noisy if if that's the word but yeah i'm using the uh, circle ones here so anyway anyway uh back to the density here uh what what these dense this right here what this does what i did before what which file okay it was this 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 just basically like changes the uh, it changes the color of the uh, density that you want so you don't really need to do any of these but I mean you may need to do these to like get get started but what what these what this density thing does is um it changes the uh, the color so you can have uh, you don't have to have 20% or 10% but you can like you don't have to like use the standard thing that they give you. You can control it manually here. So right here, I'm gonna. So the density is black, right? So let's say I wanted to make it a much more lighter color. I can just, you know, uh, lessen it a little bit. So right now we're going to just go with black, okay? And for uh, for this, how about we make this a much more lighter color for? A much more deeper contrast here so this will be 20 so well, what we have here is like the uh, four primary uh, screen tones that that are used or oh, yeah the four pri not four but three primary screen tones that are used um so i'm going to open up a uh, a comic uh, a comic page later but First, before we do that, I want to also get into detail and explain some stuff. Like uh, by default, I, I I said these are um circles, correct? Yes. Yeah, so I just dragged it here, 
and dragged it here, etc., etc. However, if I wanted to change the uh, the um, the circles, you can come here again. These these this is manual, so you can do whatever you want. So I can come here. Th these are d dot settings, you know. So don't don't be confused. You know, dot settings. It, they, 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 even though it's called dot set dot settings, that there's like a bunch of different uh, things that don't look like dots. So we're going to have we can have line here or um, stars or whatever. It, it, it's the 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 list is endless. Well, it, it does end, but you know you get what I mean. Anyway, uh, yeah. So um, I'm going to uh, um, pause the video and get my uh, comic page out, and then I'll sh show show you something more in detail about it. So yeah. Alrighty, and we're back. So just for a refresher, we're using we're just going to be using three different screen tones. One of them, which is the uh, twenty percent or thirty, twenty or thirty. Uh, the other one is the, a neutral color, which is 50, and the uh, other one is black, which is 100. So I'm going to go into one of my pages here. So page one, uh, for, first, first off, first off, first off, uh, right, right here we have a warm color, okay? So page one, there's a, uh, a flag here. We have a warm color, so we want to provide some type of contrast, right? So the, what would be best for this warm color would be just to add 50 to it, uh, and then contrast it with just white. So um, we would go here, and you know, don't get confused by all of these screen tones I put. I, j I was just testing different things, but yeah, this is 50, right? Uh, as before, and. What we want to do is just use our magic wand tool and hold down shift to select more than one selection and then we use the paint the fill tool and then there we have the our our uh, our filling you know uh, let me take care of this yeah but then we have our filling and that's basically what I did for all these other stuff so the the this is this right here is ba is basically you see all of the uh the uh warm t warmer tones the fifty percent ones right here in the background there's a flag here you, you can see where I used it at you know so like just say if I just erase this like or just made it invisible you can see where it's at and, you know it's just it's just using the three primary colors. Yeah, the the three primary ones, uh, for uh, and as for uh, this, uh, we'll take this for example. We have this character here who is, you know, he ha she has a, a darker hair color and something right like this is a, a little bit, you know, how how can I say this? Lighter than this, and this is even lighter than this color, the yellow. So I have it like this on the f no, uh, three yeah I have it I have her looking like this just for a sense of contrast and for the this character right here you can see that although all this is like a light color uh, I want to provide some sense of contrast so I just use uh, 20% or 30% it doesn't matter so so much and um, for uh, the sky the sky I have a separate tutorial on that and I did the uh, the ocean a different way as well so uh, so as we go to like I, I told you how what the 50% monotone and the uh, the thirty percent or twenty percent monotone is used for like some, some something like this or to this. So when I use the um, the black for is um you know just for basic shadows shadows like this. Uh, and for like for this you can just have like a you know a shadow which is just fifty percent monotone as well. And like the uh, the windows are also like 
black so that's like a hundred percent monotone I said that I use like a, um, four four screen tones for example it's so like for example this character I use four screen tones purely for the fact that uh, um, like this character right here that purely for the fact that uh, um, you, you won't be able to see the details if it's all the way black so that's why so that that's why I use an extra screen tone uh, I remember let's see what's yes and for this this is exactly the same thing you know I remember this is the uh, I used to use the uh, a, a lighting method for this this is basically the uh, 20 or 30 percent screen tone and after that I just you know leave just a little bit white marks left here and there and you know the cross hatching was done traditionally etc but uh, for this right here this is also a uh, um, yeah, this is like a 30 to 20 percent. The same, same thing like, uh, like, um, where is that page? Same thing like th what I did for the backgrounds here. Uh, what else? Oh, and, uh, for, uh, for the, yeah. For for like so for like the trees, it's like a more much more lighter color. Anyway, the this the the backgrounds here, like I said, like the uh, I use primarily I primarily use the uh, circle ones, the circle monochromes, the circle screen tones, you know, the black ones. And you know, you can increase the size and change it over here with and then with the density and such. And like for this, if you zoom in, I use the, uh, the these weren't the. Uh, the circles these are actually um, the lines but you know you usually won't be able to see you s to see it in some cases but I, I like to do it like that so um, yeah so yeah I, I how, how much time do we have left how much time do we have left okay 12 okay so I'm going to end this video here wait wait hold on hold on maybe I can include uh, this a, a little thing on how I did the ocean just a little glance a glimpse on it so we're just going to uh, use a magic wand tool right here okay and then I just did this or so uh, yeah blue did this and then have, you, you can like depending on the direction you can have it you can have it like a gradient you most people just use gradients some some people just use gradients and uh, you can just have it like this and after that change it to tonal correction hue saturation luminosity and then decrease the saturation etc and that's how I get that gradient feel to it and I, I have a separate tutorial for the skies you'll get a better understanding on how I did it but um, yeah that's that's pretty much it and uh, yeah hope this video helps uh, please leave a like comment subscribe and yeah Later, later guys. Peace out. Uh, how do I end this? Hold on, okay.